Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or just seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg Podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Here we are for another great week, another great start of our podcast uh, of great information for people out there. Special day today. It, it is a special day because not only is it a Monday, and you know how much we love Mondays anyways, but today's well, we a great do. day. We do love Monday. I do love Monday. Yeah, because we know how to use the weekend <laughs> That's right. to get to Monday. That's right, because the weekend is a build-up to Monday. That's right. Mm, it's a preparation for, for it. Monday. That's right. right. So, but not only is it Monday, but today we have a a special guest with us. Very special. Guest, That's actually. right. Uh, we mentioned it last week in, in the in the Friday podcast last week, but we have started a a wonderful partnership with a um, a, a great website that is a fantastic resource for folks out there, and it's psychreg.org. P-S-Y-C-H-R-E-G dot org. Lord. And mm-hmm. it's pronounced Psych Reg, not Psych Reg. I mispronounced it last time. Most of us as Psych Reg. Yes. Oh. Um, but I mispronounced it last time. But not only are we, st- this is another great thing. Not only are we starting off this week on a Monday with this new partnership, but we also have the founder of Psych Reg here with us today. Um, for us to interview and for him to give us a little bit more information about yep. what PsychReg is doing and what's coming up with it. And so we have with us today, Dennis Rolojo with us. How are you doing, Dennis? I'm good, and it's nice to finally see you. Um, I'm excited to talk about what PsychReg is all about and, of course, this partnership with the Mental Breakdown. Even, even my adolescent children are excited about this relationship. Then. So uh, it's good to see you. And it's good to meet you. Absolutely. Yeah, we, uh, I've been talking to, uh, ever since we first started talking, uh, I've been mentioning it to different people and, and kind of talking to them about what we're, what we're doing. And I, I think a lot of people are really excited about it. Not, and they are. Um, not just because of what, uh, what we can do as far as the podcast goes, but because of the additional resources and everything mm-hmm. else that Cypheredge has to, um, has available for folks out there. Mm-hmm. So um, let's start from the beginning. Uh, Dan, how did you even get interested in psychology? I, I read your, your bio online, and it, it, there's not, you don't have a family history of, of people working in the field of psychology. How, how did you get interested in psychology? Um, actually, um, I'm originally from the Philippines. Um, as you could probably read from my Twitter bio, I grew up in a slum in Manila which is the capital of the Philippines. I'm the first in the family to go to university. Um, My interest about psychology was um, inspired by my um, secondary school teacher. Um, She took psychology at uni. So she keeps on talking about what um, the beauty of studying human behavior, its complexity. So I kind of got interested into that. So... When I had a chance to go to uni, um, I wanted to explore more about human behavior, so I studied psychology. And then um, after finishing my degree, I worked for a call center in the Philippines for about, I can't remember now, three years, I think. Um, And then after that, I decided to do my master's degree, and which helped me to get a lecturer position at an at a university in Manila. Great. Well, and if I read correctly, um, you actually have two master's degrees. Is that right? Yes, um, I do have two master's degree. Um, I came here in the UK um, 2013 to do another master's degree. Um, wow. Which is um, research methods in psychology. Wow, that's, that's, that's great. Um, and now, and what you have done, and I've mentioned this to you um, in our individual conversations, and I'll mention it here too, what you have done and what you have built uh, is really impressive. Um, Thank you. And so tell us a little bit about sort of the skills and qualities that you, that you have and used in, in t- 
taking Scythe from sort of an idea into what it is today? Um, it's pretty much um, my interest in blogging because I've been blogging for more than um, 10 years, I would say. Um, I've been using WordPress long before. It's actually the WordPress that we're using now. It's not as intuitive as we um, as what we have now. Um, WordPress is really um, a lot of hard work when it was just starting. So I kind of got familiar with WordPress. And I'm also interested about um, social media. Um, I'm not really into Facebook, but I'm very active on Twitter and LinkedIn. So I reckon that I should be able to use these resources to create a useful website, and that is Cycredge. And um, the idea behind Cycredge is, the reason why it's called right Cycredge is it's, um, it's a combination of two words, um, psychology and registry. Um, I'm interested to like to create a website where you could actually look for the background and the research interests of people in all different fields of psychology. Um, I just keep on asking people in, on Twitter whether they would like their profile to be added. I started with my research um, supervisor at the University of Hertfordshire. That's how it started and just keeps on um, rolling. So. That's, that's the idea. But yeah, um, it, it's important that you have um, blogging skills and social media um, familiarity for you to have um, a successful blog, I would say. Right. Well, you know, in, in your, your, your uh, description there explains so much because as, you know, we started our conversation, you and I, uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Actually, I mean, th this has kind of moved very quickly Exactly. Which, uh, as Richard will admit, <laughs> it is sort of my style. I'm like a, a, a guy that gets, let's get, get, get to it. Um, but what I've seen you build over the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. in, in building the, the website uh, podcast.cyphereedge.org, it, it's, it's impressive because we tease that I'm the, the webmaster for our, our sites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea what I, I mean, I, I have some idea, but mm -hmm. relatively speaking, no idea what I'm doing. And so you're, you're, you're building these wonderfully looking websites that, uh, that are very intuitive and very easy to navigate so you can find exactly what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I'm glad you're, you're starting to like the website, but it's still um, an ongoing work at the moment. Um, yeah, but hopefully as soon as we get more podcasts, it will start to look more organized. Dan, I noticed that um, you have authors from all over the world, or, or it seems that you do. Yeah, it, I think it seems that I do. I don't think I've, I've, I've covered um, seven continents yet. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to um, be more inclusive, um, to approach as many people as I can because I believe that especially researchers and academics they have a very busy lifestyle and they haven't got the time to blog but I'm pretty sure that even though they haven't got the time to blog they would seriously have they would seriously be interested to write an article because um, sometimes you know um, research articles are very um, it's a very it's very difficult to read, but if you try to make more conversational in a blog post, that way you're reaching a wider audience for your work. And I think um, that's one of um, good qualities of a blog because um, your work is reaching more audience. It becomes more useful. It it's adding to the stack of human knowledge. Right. We couldn't agree more. That's been our philosophy all along. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd much rather talk to a broad, larger, and broader audience than mm -hmm. two or three other specialists. Exactly. Which is what typically happens, especially in academic work, is you're talking to a few other scholars who share your mm -hmm. particular interests. But mm -hmm. we, uh, Dr. Bernie and I, have always been interested in talking to a larger audience um, and, more, and for it to happen more quickly, rather than wait mm -hmm. for the publication of a professional paper. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely, we, can, we, we wake up sometime and, and sit down and talk and we'll write a, you know, yeah. two or, two or one or 2,000 word uh, right. blog or, or post and get that out 
in, you know, to try to get something like that posted for, you know, publication in a professional journal or something mm -hmm. could take months, months and months. months right. uh, so it, it reaches the people that need the information. So, mm -hmm. so the authors you're contacting have this shared interest. Regardless. Yeah. 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 Um, I, so, I sometimes also, um, sort of look for people who keeps on tweeting about um, their work. And I reckon that um, if I give them the chance to write a blog post, that will be, um, yeah. they, they, would, they would appreciate that. I think you're right. That's great. Wow. Now, has, the, has anything from, from the time that you first started thinking about, you know, Psych Reg and what you wanted to do with it, has much changed? Um, either the, the purpose or your goals or anything like that has has anything really changed since you started the, the yeah website? it has it has changed a lot because um, like what I've told you earlier my initial goal for Psychreg would just be to make a registry of like sort of like um, what what the research interests are where did they do their qualifications and now it, um, it has become a blog and of course the Psychreg podcast and of course, um, uh, the journal, and of course, um, the conference. So um, I'm not I'm not earning money from it, um, but um, I'm I'm happy to see um, how Psychreg is evolving. Now, now that's that's a really important, um, an interesting point that you make there when you said you know you're not really making money off of it or anything because it, it is certainly. The, the way that it's constructed and, and the uh, amount of information that you, you offer there, what, what else do you do? <laughs> um, I, I do have a full-time job. Um, <laughs> this isn't uh, it? Yeah. yeah, sometimes people think that if, you, if you're running a very active website, um, you're a nerd that you just sit in front of your computer 20 hour, 23 hours a day. But I do have a full-time job, believe it or not. I work um, 37 hours in a week. Um, I'm, a, I'm a teaching assistant at a, lo at a local college. And um, I recently got promoted, so soon I will be um, I will be a tutor. I'll be teaching employability skills and professional development. Oh, congratulations! That's fantastic. Thank you. Well, and, and it fits with so much of the other uh, other material and things that we see on Psych Reg because it, there's there's quite a a slant towards like uh, positive psychology and and mm -hmm. you know working working to improve our lives and to make things good for us. Has that always been the case or is that one of your primary interests? Um, it, has, it, it hasn't always been um, the case about um, the kind of like the common theme that Psychreg has because it has always been a mishmash of all sorts of topics in psychology from jobs to announcements. But the reason why I'm kind of inclined to post more about um, positive psychology is I, I, want, I want people to read something nice. You know, I, I don't want just people to read something informational because you've got Wikipedia for that. You've got journals for that. Um, I, I just want something like something refreshing, you know, like that, that's why sometimes I also ask people who have mental um, who have mental conditions, who have mental disorders, to share their stories. Um, and of course, um, those people who also run their own clinics on what the tips they have for people with, who don't feel great. Great. Wow, great. That's, and, and that, I, I guess, something I'll throw in there is, you know, those who may be listening who are, you know, interested in talk, telling their stories and, you know, anyone who would want to to come on the show and 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 we can interview them and they would like to talk mm -hmm. about uh, their experiences or what happened you know again one of the things that we're just so excited about with this partnership is the um, hopefully the additional avenue folks will have to share their stories and to share what worked for them what didn't work for them and, and mm -hmm. so that their stories can help other people who may be struggling with the same thing right. mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, we have a particular interest in caregivers. Um, that that's another forgotten group. 
um, mm -hmm. we'd like to bring into these discussions because they're struggling on a day-to-day -day basis um, taking care of uh, people. And um, so we would also like to include those. So mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, but you mentioned earlier. Yes. About this new journal. Tell the us journal. a little bit about the journal. Tell us about the journal. Um, I just launched the journal about, I, I'd say, three weeks ago. Because sometimes I get um, articles to be published for Cybridge, and I just do academic. You know, they've got citations, they've got references. And that's not really the very nature of Cybridge. So I think rather than refusing people, you know, refusing, refusing them to have published in Cybridge, why don't I offer them another platform? And um, I thought it's kind of brave idea because I haven't got PhD myself. Um, I haven't been published in any high rank journal. But then again, I thought to myself, there's so many predatory journals out there um, publishing all sorts of psychobabble. And I don't think I would be doing any um, anything bad. I won't be doing. <laughs> I, I won't. I won't be committing any crime if I launch a journal. Um, and I wouldn't be asking people for money anyway. So um, I thought just give it a give it a go. And I just for I ask for people who's got, who's willing to be editorial board member. They're not actually editorial board member like in and um, the, the, usual, the traditional editorial board member, they kind of like, they kind of work for me as, um, no, they don't work for me. They kind of like serve as my mentors because of course they are a lot more experienced than I am. So, and then um, I also have some reviewers. I'm still looking for reviewers actually. Um, yeah, that's how um, I'm trying to launch on the journal. Well, we're, we're proud to be a part of it, Dan. I'm, I'm very pleased uh, to be a part of that. Thank you. But it's interesting, um, you talk about the professional journals that have the um, references and the citations. Uh, Bernie and I did, a, did an article that we're very proud of, uh, mm -hmm. and we submitted it for publication about a year ago. Oh, yeah. And it was rejected because it didn't have enough references in it. <laughs> so yeah. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> And we need, we need that kind of an outlet. We need that sort of an outlet in this country because um, you're right, much of it is psychobabble, but the professional literature is beyond what even some professionals are unable to access. Mm -hmm. And so I think you're, you're, uh, you're filling an important niche. Um, I'm sure you're filling an important niche here. I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited to um, have the first issue of the publication in June. Mm -hmm. And I'm also very grateful for um, the conference in Romania because they have agreed to, just like you guys, I'm also grateful for you. They agreed to be a partner um, with Psychreg. So hopefully I get a lot more submissions mm -hmm. um, for the journey now. That's great. Yeah, the uh, it's the yeah. international conference for psychology education and didactics i think is the name of it and it's in in romania in in early march and yeah it, it's it, it, when when i saw the message about that I, I went straight to richard and i was thinking you know we're just getting ready for the first edition to come out in june as you just said mm -hmm. and already we're you know you have the the your journal involved with with this okay. conference this international okay. conference um and it's your, um, I think one of the, the lessons I think a lot of listeners and a lot of um, people who are, are trying to figure out what they're trying, what they want to do in life, one of the things that they really can learn from what you're doing is you, you said a moment ago, you just, yeah, you're not breaking any laws. So you just <laughs> decided just to do it. Um, and, yeah. and, and, and there's so relatively few people who, who really put themselves out there. And you know, we, we talk a lot about, you know, just do it, sort of the Nike slogan. You know, just, just do it. Get out there and, and, and make, your, make your dream happen, make it come to fruition for yourself. And, and you're, you're absolutely doing that. Thank you. So what do you see as the future for Sight Red? You, you've, got a, you've got a journal now. We're launching the podcast. You're, you're involved with this international uh, 
conference, what's, do you have any other, what else are you going to conquer? <laughs> I think, I think that's about it really. <laughs> and um, hopefully we could meet in person and hopefully we could meet at one of the conferences. Who knows, you might be one of the speakers. <laughs> We will, we will be there. We'd be happy yeah. to. We'll, we'll be there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, before we sign off or anything, would you uh, share with everyone how they can get in touch with you, how they can follow you, where they can find you on the net, all that kind of good information? Yes, um, I'm on Twitter. Um, just type my name. It's um, Dennis, R-E-L-O-J-O. -O. It's Reloho. And I'm also on LinkedIn. And of course, um, I'm, I have my own website. It's dennis.sycredge.org. So, Dennis, after listening to you and Bernie, I guess I have to become a Twitter user. I'm behind. Uh, no, you're not really wow. behind. Um, no. Some people are really active on Facebook and some people no, are active Facebook on Twitter. No. He and some people are active on Instagram. Then he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Any uh -huh. of those things. Okay, I'll join Twitter. I'll oh, join. But he's doing a podcast. He has a, his um, YouTube channel. So and mo and um, blog morning blog. That's every, right. That's I right. do a morning blog every day. That's right. Yeah. He's he's got those things. So that's that's great. It's it's so, moving in the right direction. So I can hang out with you guys. Right. Huh? Yeah, so you're, maybe you're right. you're better with face to face interaction rather than online interaction. Oh, I'm great with an audience, Dan. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> So. All right. Well, then we, we, we really appreciate it. We are, we are so excited about, um, about this partnership. We, as I mentioned to you before we went on, uh, we started recording, we've already started contacting, uh, other yeah, professionals, other researchers who are interested in, in, uh, being interviewed on the podcast. We're, we're super excited about that. We're, we're getting ready to schedule the, mm -hmm. the first couple of interviews. Um, and so we're hoping that, well, we could just bring a lot more information to to folks out there so that they can, you know, be yeah, have yeah, yeah take have part access and, to this, right? And learn from those people who are really doing the work that we all need to learn from. Mm -hmm. yep. So we really appreciate it. We we really appreciate you coming on for this this I first episode. You. And um, you know, definitely stay in touch. And you, of course, know that you're welcome to come on the podcast anytime you have anything to announce or anything that's coming up. You know, just mm -hmm. let us know, and and we'll uh, we'll be glad to talk with you and, and get the information out there. Yeah, if I can't find anyone to talk about the conference, I might as well do it for you. <laughs> that's, <Okay>. that's right. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. So yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it for today. Um, that was great. So yeah, thank you. No problem. So good meeting you, Dan. Absolutely. Nice meeting you both. Great. So, well, until next time, I'm Dr. Bernie. I'm Dr. Richard. Stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid.